So we're getting ready to actually make the apple blossom. We're going to use tip number 101, which is a Wilton tip. It actually is in the petal family. It's smaller than the tip that you probably used before, which is tip number 104. And that's the comparison of the two different tips, the size. It just produces a smaller petal, but it's the same tip family. So we're going to, where, since we're ready to actually use our icing bag, we'll remove our icing bag tie. And the template that we're actually using is the apple blossom template. We're making an apple blossom, so we're going to use that one. It actually has several sections, and there is one, two circles. We're going to actually stay within the inner circle. We're going to make five petals in the inner circle. So we're going to start at the point, reach out a little bit, come back down, and form an actual triangle in form of a petal, though. We're going to make sure that our actual bag is at a 45 degree angle. This is 90, this is 45. But not only is it at a 45 degree angle, we want the actual larger end of our tip to be pointed down towards the actual point. The smaller end of our tip, because it has like a, a slight opening right here. This is the larger end, that's the smaller end. And the smaller end is going to go towards the top. So remember, we're going to stay within our first level of circles. We're not going up here. We're just going to go to this level. And we're going to do it five times. So we're going to start here, come back down, and do this five times. And make sure that we actually lean to the side in addition to having a 45 degree angle. And we're actually twirling our flower nail at the same time that we're doing this. You see it leaves indentations. That is what our apple blossom looks like before we actually add the little stamens. Now we're going to actually make the stamens using tip number one, which is in the round family. It's the very smallest one, which is very difficult to actually use with buttercream, but since we're using royal icing, we shouldn't have an issue. We're going to make five dots. We're going to hold it at a 90 degree angle straight up and down. We're going to put one dot in the center and four surrounding. That's our apple blossom. So let's do another, starting at the point twirling, come back down, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time. That's our apple blossom.
so that the actual dots won't run into this. I'm going to let it actually dry, then I'll come back after this is completely dry to actually add the five dots that we need to. But so that you do not actually mess up your flower, just take a pointy slim stick or your paintbrush and wedge it underneath your square and run it across so that you won't actually bend your paper and then set it aside and go into your next one. So we finish off our apple blossom by using tip number one and making five dots. We place one in the center and then four surrounding. And this was actually made with the thick royal icing. This was made with a thinner set of royal icing just so you can get an idea. It holds the shape a whole lot better. It flowed like color flow on the thinner side. 